Okay, so I just did all of my makeup, and since I'm insane, I have decided to actually wash my hair. So hopefully I can do that without harming the makeup too much. Just a nice reminder to keep my hand down tonight on Scout. Don't fall. You ruined my video. I'm gonna get lead poisoning. Scout did not go um, great, so I'm just gonna put this clip. I think I want to save it for a future video where, like, I I commentate my runs, like on Chester, and hopefully eventually on Scout, where I can say, like, I can show my good runs and say everything I did in those, and my really bad runs and say what I did, you know, that messed me up. I didn't expect to just hop on Scout and like go win everything so I'm not you know putting a lot of pressure on myself because I'm trying like I don't want to get so disappointed and discouraged because it's gonna happen I'm not gonna be able to just hop on him and win it's a learning process and so I'm trying to not put as much pressure on me now let's watch Chester try. Chester's run was good. It wasn't as smooth as my run two videos ago. Um, I got a little behind him around the first barrel, definitely working on that. There, my fundamentals as a rider are not, um, they didn't set me up to go pro. They got me, they allowed me to do good at like association shows, but there's a lot of gaps in my learning that I'm having to fill as I want to go pro. So there's a big learning curve on both horses that I need to relax my legs, and I need to do this, and I don't quite understand everything. Um, I could, like, neither of my parents ride horses. I didn't grow up riding horses. I started when I was like 10, which is a lot, that's pretty late for most people that are doing this and most people that I compete against. And I grew up with girls that like, rode a bunch of different horses and switched horses all the time. And I didn't have that opportunity. I ran the same horse for about, five or six years from the time I was 11 to 2019. So, a really long time. And that's okay, it's just gonna take me a while. Um, when we got back, we made them both mashes because I could tell Chester was a little dehydrated and um, he does take Lasix, so he needs to replace all that water, so they both, Chester got a tube of paste electrolytes, and then when we got back, they both um, got mashes with electrolytes in them too. So, made sure they were 
getting rehydrated because it's really hot right now. video thanks for watching follow my instagram for way more content i post there every single day and i hope you bye